So I recently stumbled upon this new feature, which is supposed to be included in the next ECMAScript release, and it's called import attributes. And it really helps us with security in our apps. So let's see what it's about. Let's say we're trying to import some API config in our application, and we're trying to import it through our JavaScript file. And what we would normally get from it is a basically a JSON formatted file like this, okay? But turns out in JavaScript, even if you do import JSON, you can never be sure that the file that the server gives you is actually JSON. If the server is compromised, it can actually send you a JavaScript file and still it's gonna work. Your interpreter is gonna work with this JavaScript. So let's say the server returns us an export default and an EFI inside an immediately invoked function expression. And this is gonna basically catch your do document cookies and everything from the local storage and return fake, basically JSON data. So in order to avoid this, we are now getting a new feature called import attributes, where we can actually say what kind of a type of data we're expecting. So let's say we're expecting JSON here. So we know that we are going to get JSON here. And I'm going to tell you how we make sure or we can also say that we know that we want JavaScript here. And it's basically a JavaScript file. And the cool thing is that if you do get a different extension than what you expect, you're going to get this kind of an error failed to load module script expect the JavaScript, but the server responded with a mime type of application JSON. So this is what we're gonna get here. Also, the cool thing is that you can dynamically import your files or JSON, for example, and you can work with uh, web workers like this. And let's say if you're trying to import some web assembly, you can say type module with type web assembly. And the cool thing here is that you can also work with CSS files like this with type CSS. And you also have some other options that you would be able to send, but this is still in beta. And let's talk about browser compatibility. So it's already available in node version two and above. It's not available in Firefox, but all the other browsers are already supporting this basic with syntax as well as type JSON. So which I what I wanted to show you here in this example. Hope you liked it. And I will see you guys in the next video.